guys, it's Carly, and I have a very special treat with you guys. We got to grab the director, George Green, here of the Hunchback of Notre Dame at the Playhouse San Antonio. Can you um, just give our audience really quick, like, a recap of what the Hunchback of Notre Dame is all about? First of all, it's a Disney story, so everyone remembers it was the cartoon, and probably one of the darker Disney cartoons that they made, but it is a beautiful story about courage uh, and about finding acceptance of, among other people in different levels of classes. Um, there's some struggle, of course, of good and evil. Um, this music is amazing. The score is beautiful. It's a wonderful book. Um, the leading characters that we have playing, um, the actors playing these leading characters are phenomenal singers. Um, we've put American Sign Language into the show because you find out in the show that Quasimodo is deaf are mostly hard of hearing because of the loud bells. So you'll see the characters in him as well as the gargoyles do some sign language and communication. So it's a really nice added um, sincere moment to the show. Can you tell us about the technical development of the show? Sure, it's like I said about the show in general, it's massive, it is huge. The set from Nick Ponting is amazing. Uh, the North Rose window that's there, the carvings from Jeremy Whittington, the statue. So, you know, to create the actual cathedral and yet make it functional on a stage is a very difficult task. But the show looks simple when you're watching it, but there are so many moving parts to it, moving staircases, moving flies. Uh, there are over 280 light cues in the production. So the, the, the score is hard, the acting is difficult. So that combined with the additional technical difficulty that we've thrown at the actors is just a huge task and undertaking for them. Guys, okay, so we grabbed Nick Pontine, resident scenic designer at the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And as you can see, he is one talented human being. My favorite part is watching it transform yeah. from scene to scene. Um, we don't have any curtains that come in and hide the transitions. We, the audience gets to see that um, uh, because you see the actors come in and they transform into the characters. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of fun to watch them do that and watch actors put on the story of The Hunchback of Notre Dame. And I did hear a little something about there being a hidden Mickey in the set. Is that true? Correct. There's a there's a hidden Mickey somewhere on set. Um, you'll have to come see it to find out where it is. Oh my gosh. Is it really apparent or am I going to have to look really hard? Look a little bit. Yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, Nick, you're a boss. Thank you so much for taking time. I am standing here with the ever fabulous Karina, how are you doing? Wonderful, thank you. <laughs> I play many characters, but the primary character is the madam, but I also play a gypsy and a townsperson and a statue and a gargoyle, so a little bit of everything. So for the Hunchback of Notre Dame specifically, can you relate to the character that you play? For the madam, yes, um, because to me, I mean, a madam is so much more than, you know, the whore. It's really more of a nurturing role, I feel. Um, Quasimodo truly is just a hero, and he's ambitious and just um, really just defies odds despite his physical well-being. Um, what's What does an everyday hero mean to you? I actually have a hero. My husband is my hero, and he blocks for me, and he takes all the negativity away from my life and so that I can just come and play and do what I love to do every day. So I have a hero. It's wonderful. So I am here with Courtney Mercer, marketing and outreach director here at the Playhouse San Antonio. For Hunchback, um, I did all the choreography in the show. There's about four choreography numbers, so it's not a big dance heavy show, but um, it's very specific to the time. The year is 1482, and so you've got gypsies dancing, you've got townspeople dancing, so I had to do a lot of research to make sure that um, I honored the culture correctly. And something really special is going to be happening. Can you tell us a little bit more about what that's going to be? So for the Hunchback of Notre Dame, we are working with the Through Project, and um, they are an organization that give guidance to um, children growing up in the foster care system. And we'll actually um, be giving a part of the ticket proceeds from the September 30th performance uh, back to the Three Project. Come out and see all of Courtney's hard work in choreographing the Hunchback of Notre Dame.